Right guys, how's it going? As you can see, I've come out to my shelter spot. I've not been here in a little bit, but the last time I was down after a storm, I noticed that half the roof had caved in. Which is fine because it was just a one-day build, it was just for that night anyway. But I quite liked the look of it, of it as a lean-to, and it is rather dry under there still. So I think I'm going to tidy away some of the stuff over here, just make it kind of camp-worthy, and uh, yeah, spend the night in it tonight. And some brand new gloves to break in. So all these roof supports are going to have to go. Uh, and all this leaf matter, debris, I'm just going to bulk up this uh, roof. Because it's pretty dry under there, but I can see a few drip marks. That's the remains of the roof all dealt with, with the debris put up on here. This side wall from the old shelter all taken down, put over there behind the camera. That's going to be used for a permanent shelter at some point, as will these. But I just wanted to get one more little uh, night in this first. So I'm, I'm quite liking it. This I'll keep for the wind. And uh, there might be rain, so the prevailing wind comes from this side. So that will help against that. Looking good. I'm just going to move my fireplace so it's in a better position to get that heat inside the shelter. I have quite a lot of smaller bits of wood now, but I, I want some more substantial stuff for some good coals and that later. Something that's going to burn a bit longer. So I'm just going to take the saw and check out what's I'm out. We've got this nice big oak that's down and kind of hung up. You may recognise it because I did have a lean-to on it once. It's not too far from the shelter. But um, there's some big bits up here I think I'm going to try and take. Probably going to be a lot of work.
look at that lovely grain, nice tight grain on that oak. Doesn't matter how rotten it looks outside, oak is always great inside. That'll burn well. You can probably see the difference here between the dry ground and the wet ground. So I'm feeling pretty confident with the extra stuff on top there. I'm just using this German or Dutch military ground sheet. Now the last time I was in this shelter I was on the cold hard ground so I've brought my Topo Firmarest Nice cosy uh, mat this time. <laughs> Make sure I get a good night's sleep. And still on the free season sleeping bag. This is the one I took to Sweden, so it's been about down to minus six. So I'm sure I cope with our autumn. And this is just that padded inflatable pillow I've been using recently. And a tiny little one that rolls up really tiny just to make it a bit more comfortable. I'm just going to cover it over for now. Oh, it's about time to have a little bit of a break. You may remember on my truck camping trip, I picked a load of uh, berries, and this is the result. My fruit lever or fruit jerky, whatever you'd like to call it. Love this stuff. Now I've got a load of twigs in here that I stashed to keep nice and dry. So that should do for kindling. I just saw some deer in the distance, 
So I went and stalked them. Didn't take the camera because I know that would be too slow. But I think I got some on the uh, phone. So I'll put it in now if I did. It looked like a white stag and a darker one. Usually fallow deer in here. But uh, I was trying to creep around. <laughs> this fire's going good. I've come back and it's already getting a bit dark. All a bit of a rush now with the uh, night setting in. Clocks would have changed by the time this video goes out probably, but uh, they're just about to in a few days. Uh, yeah, pretty sorted though. Plenty of wood, that oak should burn for a good long time, and I've got tons of that roof as well. Shelter's all set up. We're looking good. just remembered that I collected up a load of chestnuts yesterday so I usually just cross them but what I might try is split them so they're a bit easier to open that's my thinking anyway careful fingers Gonna try and pull out some of these coals. Right, all these seem to be done. A couple might be burnt in places, but I'm sure it'll be nice all the same. Oh, there we go, that's just the shell that was burnt. I feel soft. Let's try these then. Mmm, I love chestnuts. Those remind me of going into uh, London as a child when I was going up for my birthday. It was like my birthday treat. You'd have the vendors selling roasted chestnuts and that's when you could feed the pigeons in Trafalgar Square. Mmm. Should keep me going till dinner. Got this nice bit of beef for roasting, so I'm just gonna drizzle oil on it and uh, season it. Moving this big stone here because I'm getting a bit of wind and it's deflecting that heat from the meat. That should help. Well, cheers everybody. Oh, I got a little uh, shaken up in the bag. Oh, nice. Well, 
them on to beer number two. <laughs> Beef's cooking away nicely, and because I know people will ask, it's called a coffee spit. Um, coffee spelt E Y. Can't remember. <laughs> I'll link it below. Handy little thing for like one or two people, and um, yeah, I put it about the distance that I can hold my hand for roughly 10 seconds, just to sort of slow roast it. But yeah, it's coming along nicely. Lovely peaceful night. But these uh, nights are drawing in earlier and earlier. Got a wasp buzzing around. I hope it's a wasp. I've seen hornets in here before. We'll see. Oh, he's on the light. Nah, it's just a wasp. <laughs> This is just some bannock bread mix. i am just uh, added some water to it. It's got uh, grated cheese in it. And um, instead of adding butter or something, I put suet in it. So it's a little bit different to what I'd normally do. But I'm just gonna cook that on a rock over the fire. I think we're moist enough here. Good, other than the twig. This stone here is quite hot, but there's no rush with it. Okay, the bannock's looking pretty good. Whoa, see the moist bits where the suet and the cheese was. This meat's rested for a minute. I don't really know what to expect. Okay, yeah, it's pink. Juicy. Yep, that's good for me. Let's have some of that bannock. Mmm, it's nice. Some of that nice juicy pink beef. I think spit roasting is the best way to cook. Even better than smoking meat. Mm. Always seems to be so juicy, no matter what it is. A piece of beef or chicken. hot. <laughs> well it's been a relaxing evening and sat by the fire here I've just stoked it back up after doing my tea and uh, I'm just gonna finish this and head off to bed I think gotta be up with the Sun not that that's that early now to be honest but yeah I'll get up with the Sun and uh, cook some breakfast and that but uh, I'll see you guys in the morning
Well, it's a little dark and overcast this morning. I've actually got the filming light on just so you can see me properly. <laughs> but I've uh, got the fire going, so it's not that cold. It was quite mild last night actually. Actually got quite warm. Um, didn't rain so I didn't get to try out the roof, but it was cosy. I was woke up about half five, six by a fox screaming behind the shelter. <laughs> Scared it off and back to bed till about eight just before. <laughs> But uh, yeah, much more comfortable with a mat than on the hard ground. I'm going to get some sausages on now and I'm going to use the spit roaster again. We've got some beautiful Cumberland sausages for breakfast. King of sausages in my opinion. Right, sausage time. Ooh, it's quite hot. Mmm. Mmm. Wow, that's a juicy sausage. Mmm. You cannot beat a Cumberland. I was going to make some bannock to go with this, but um, I couldn't be bothered. It's so nice and relaxing. Just watching the sausages cook. I know the camera's just not going to pick this up, but um, with them sausages cooking like that for so long, even with the skin on them, I've got a bit of a smoke ring. Really picked up some of that smoke flavour. It's high time I got going. I've uh, been pottering around a little bit <laughs> and time is getting on. So thank you guys all for watching as usual. Hope you enjoyed it and uh, I'll see you on the next one. Goodbye for now.